In this video, we're going to write a C program to print out Christmas trees. So we're going to generate Christmas trees that look like this. Our Christmas trees will always have three stars as a trunk or a base here, and they'll always be aligned to the center of the tree. We're going to ask the user for the height of the tree, and that's going to determine the number of lines in our tree from the top here on down to the bottom. And this bottom row here is always going to have twice the number of stars minus one as there are lines in the height of the tree. So let's actually generate this now in C. The first thing we'll do is ask the user for the height and we'll make a variable to store that. So we'll say int height is equal to zero, printf enter height, and we'll prompt the user for the height. Then we'll say scanf percent D and height, and we'll store what they enter into the height variable. Then we'll print out a new line just so our tree starts on a new line. So the first thing we're gonna do is generate this portion of the tree here from the top star all the way down to this bottom row here. And what we're gonna do is gradually print less and less spaces along each row here. At the same time, we're gonna gradually print more and more stars as we go down each line. So we're gonna actually generate a space count and a star count as we print this tree. So we'll say for int i is equal to one, i is less than or equal to height, i plus plus. So we're gonna go from one up until and including height, incrementing i by one each time. And that's gonna give us each line in this portion of the tree here. So the first thing we're gonna do is figure out the star count and the space count. So the star count for that line, the number of stars in that line, is gonna be equal to i times two minus one. So when i is one and we have one times two minus one, star count is gonna be one. And that's gonna give us that star there. When i is equal to the height, we're gonna have height times two minus one. And that's gonna give us that bottom of the tree there, where the number of stars is twice the number of lines in the height minus one. So next we'll actually figure out the space count. So the space count is going to be height minus i plus one. Because if you look at our star count here, it's ultimately gonna be twice the height minus one. With the space count, it's kind of the opposite. We initially wanna print out height number of spaces to reach the middle of the tree. But from there, we wanna actually taper it off with respect to i. Because initially we wanna go sort of halfway in, right, to the middle of the tree. And then we wanna reduce by i the number of spaces that we go in before we start printing the stars each time. So now that we've determined these things, we just have to print out these spaces and the stars on each line. So we'll say here for int j is equal to zero, j is less than space count, j plus plus, and we'll print f a space. Then we'll make another loop that's gonna take j from zero up until the star count, incrementing it by one each time, and we'll print out a star. And then when we're done, we'll print out a new line to start the next line on the next line. So what's going on here is we're taking j from zero up until space count and j from zero up until star count, and we're printing out the number of spaces and number of stars on each line. And the new line just starts us off on a new line. So the next thing to do is print out this three star trunk here. So here we'll make a loop to print out three things. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than three, i plus plus. And then next, we'll make an inner loop that is gonna print out exactly the number of spaces needed in order to reach the center of our tree, where we wanna print a star each time to make up our trunk of the tree. So here we'll say for int j is equal to zero, j is less than height, j plus plus and we'll print out a space. So taking j from zero up until the height, we're gonna print out height number of spaces. And that's gonna give us exactly enough spaces to get to the middle of the tree. And at this point, we can print out a star and then a new line. So that way the next star that gets printed out gets printed out on the next line and so on. So now we can test this out. We'll save this here and run it. 
So let's try entering a height of, let's say seven. And we get a nice looking tree. We could try something else. Maybe we'll try a height of 10. And we get another nice looking tree, but it's a bit bigger now. So this is how we can generate Christmas trees in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.